right, we're out here for our first teammate debate. We've got teammates Alex Glanzer and Oliver Lockwood Powell, Sioux Falls Lincoln baseball team. First of all, how long have you guys known each other? Uh, we've known each other for about four years now. We've been friends since uh, high, since we started high school, so pretty much freshman to senior. So. so Alex claims that they're friends. And Oliver, how did this debate get started, first of all? We're, we'll, we'll tell you what the debate is, but how did it get started? You know, it's kind of been like a common sense thing, but I was sitting at a volleyball game one day, and I heard someone say MJ was a GOAT, and I thought we were all on the same page that LeBron was a GOAT, and I was like, that's not happening, you know. I had to chime in and say Say what was on my mind, I guess. And this debate has kind of kept going ever since then. Is that is that? Yeah, it happens, happens just about team? every day. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, here's the debate: MJ or LeBron? Who's the goat? And let's start with Alex. You're going to argue for Jordan. For Jordan. Jordan. What do you got? Okay. Well, first off, Jordan six rings. LeBron three. Jordan's a better offensive player. He's uh, won scoring title, I think, ten times. To LeBron's one. He's a better defense player. Steals leader three times. LeBron zero. I think uh, defense player once, LeBron zero, and I think Jordan has showed his dominance over the league throughout his career. That's going to be tough. How are you going to argue that, Oliver? What do you think? Uh, LeBron, huh? LeBron is a better passer. He's a better rebounder. He's a more efficient scorer. He can guard all five positions. I'd say he's just as dominant, if not more dominant, than Jordan. And the league has gotten ten times better, I think, in my opinion than it was when MJ played. I, I, I got to follow up on one question here. Let's compare eras in, in that argument of what era he played in. Uh, I think Jordan's era is a lot more physical back then. You got hacked every time you go into the rack. They didn't call flagrant fouls and all that. And personally, I think the players are just as dominant or just as good looking at the Dream Team and the All-Star teams now. So I think the players are pretty much just as good compared to that. Now. Well, I got to come back at you with the rings. Obviously, people are going to point to the rings. Yeah, you got you can look at the rings, I guess, but you got to look at the team uh, Jordan had. He had Scottie Pippen, he had Dennis Rodman, he had Cartwright, and that's known as one of the best teams of all time. And you look at the team that LeBron is playing, and that is also up for one of the best teams of all time, the Golden State Warriors. He's got the Spurs with Tim Duncan and Tony Parker, and the fact that he's gotten there eight straight, seven straight times is just pretty amazing. Closing thoughts on why people out there should vote for you. All right, well, look, just LeBron has had uh, 16 All-Stars he's played with in his career to Jordan only had six. So I think Jordan wouldn't say that has had more help. I think Jordan just made his team all around better, and I think he's the go. All right, final thoughts for Oliver. What do you think? You know, I think Jordan and LeBron, great players. But I think what separates LeBron from Jordan is his overall plays, like from top to bottom. Statistically, he's just all around better and more efficient. Now it's time for you guys to help. Go to our Twitter page, at, at MidcoSN. Vote for it. We'll see what the results are. Thanks, guys.